Hey there, Dr. Christensen here, and I'm gonna stick my neck out for you for a moment. <laughs> I wanna talk about doing thyroid self exams and why they're important and really how to do them. And I'll walk you through doing one so you'll know how and have some confidence. We put a lot of thought and awareness into cancer screening, and it's good that we have. We have the, the pink ribbons, the crusades, the marches for breast cancer, that's awesome. Did you know that since 1980, the fastest increasing type of cancer for women is not breast cancer, it's thyroid cancer. So don't forget about this when you check these. <laughs> Seriously, every month you should check your neck. And the same time you do the self breast exam would be awesome, easy way to remember that. And I wanna show you how to do it and give you some confidence so you can do it regularly and make sense of it. So in terms of equipment, not a whole lot. You want some water and you want a handheld mirror. The first step, doesn't even need those. You just need your hands. So you want to be aware of where your thyroid is. So there's the Adam's apple, and just below that, you've got the sternum. So between those two is called the isthmus, or the narrow point of the thyroid. Now, the sides of the thyroid go out to these neck muscles. Those are called the SCM muscles. So the gland goes right about like this. So this is the contours of my gland approximately. So it's not way up here, it's not way down there. It's right right around this, this area. And it's not big and you really shouldn't even be able to feel it. So when you do feel it, that means something is wrong. The first step is just check your neck, use your hand right against the skin of your neck and go downward starting on one side and go down moving over just a few inches each time so you're overlapping and you're covering all the skin. Now some things are normal, you can feel some muscle tissue, you may feel some small lymph nodes below your neck when you start, but anything that seems unusual here, share with your physician and let them check it out as well. So go down and get each side real well. Now the next part is visual. So you wanna just take a, take a good look. You know, check yourself out and take a look at your neck. Yeah, I can see even better now. So here's, here's my contours for my thyroid, right about there, right about there, not, not all that large. So you can see it very exactingly and you wanna look for anything that's uneven. And now here's where the water comes in. When you drink and you swallow, that moves your trachea and it moves the esophagus in ways to where the cartilage right above and around the thyroid pushes it all out. So if there are any lumps or bumps, they're really obvious when you're drinking. Okay, so I'm looking closely and I'm watching just around and below my Adam's apple. And that's it. I'm watching these structures bob up and down as I'm drinking. And this area right around here is especially critical. I did not see any bumps or imperfections as I was drinking, so pass again for another month. <laughs> it's that easy. You know, and if there are things you're not sure about, have your physician do an exam, have an ultrasound done. If you've got thyroid disease, when was your last ultrasound? You're supposed to have them regularly. Many people have not. I've seen it so common that people that have had thyroid disease for years and years and years, no one has ever done an ultrasound on them, and it's important to catch. So get one done when you're first diagnosed. If you've not had one done, get your baseline done. If you've not had one for a couple years, get caught up again. But each month, do the thyroid self-exam, do your breast exams regularly, make them tie together, and just check both out, and keep your health in line. Take great care of yourself, and we'll talk again real soon.